flight school. My name is Jackson, with a J. <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. First things first. Let's see if we can get you into the air without killing yourself or someone else. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Pull the throttle all the way down to pick up speed and pull back on the stick to take off. You can retract your landing gear once you're a safe distance above the ground. Congratulations, pilot. You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next lesson. That was a good start. Well done. on the runway. You won't have many chances to get this wrong, so please, follow my instructions very closely. Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing gear before you reach the runway. Start to decelerate while you're still in the air, but be careful not to stall the engine. When you touch down, continue to apply the brakes carefully until you come to a complete stop. Executed like a pro! Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area and come to a complete stop. In this lesson, you're going to be performing a couple of different stunts. We'll start you out with a few barrel rolls. And if that goes well, you can take a crack at flying upside down. All right, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay. Perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel. <laughs> I like it. Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay. Perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice! Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Go ahead and level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. right side up. Great work out there today. I'll teach you some more moves next time. This lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. marked at the runway. Then, I'll talk you through it. A knife is one of the harder moves. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your rudders to maintain altitude. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect, now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay, perform a knife edge on the other side. Level out the plane. <laughs> that was an amazing... 
amazing run. You should be very proud of yourself.
Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just like before, steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking. You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. Now, roll the plane right side up. Good job! Hard to believe you were only a beginner not that long ago. You've been doing so well in the plane, we're gonna put you in a helicopter for this lesson. There are a few more controls than the stunt plane, but it's a little more forgiving. Try to finish the obstacle course without bursting into a ball of fire. And sign the waiver. Let's go on a short tour of the city, and we'll see how well you handle the chopper. Follow the marked course, and remember, I'm looking for maneuverability, but also speed. Nicely done! Awesome! Nicely done! The bridge didn't seem to slow you down at all! Very nice! lesson, but with a real emphasis on speed this time. Finish the obstacle course around the city before the timer runs out, and try not to crash. At the end of the course, you'll be required to safely land your helicopter.
Reloading now. Diving onto a moving target, so I hope you brought a change of underwear. <laughs> the target will be circling around the runway, so watch it carefully and pay attention to the route. It may take several tries, but once you get this down, you'll be terrorizing drivers all over Los Santos. The drop zone is on the back of a moving truck. So take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your chute early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. Final lesson is going to come. 
find extremely dangerous stunts with highly populated city areas in an assault course that will put everything you've learned during your time at flight school to the test. For your sake, I hope you've been practicing knifing and flying upside down. I want you to take your very best shot at this obstacle course. There are going to be special gates that will require you to fly upside down or knife through them. Look easy! Brings a tear to my eye to see how far you've come! 